Voters in Beaver Creek are set to consider more funding for the city's police department. A 2.5 mil police levy is on the November ballot. Two News reporter Nija Pettyholm joins us here in the studio to explain how much the levy would cost and where that money would go. Nija. John, if voters approve the police levy, they'll see property tax go up, but they'll also see more officers on the street and a new police headquarters building. Your facility is uh, you're outgrowing your space. You don't have enough storage. You don't have enough room for property and evidence, and your building's not very secure. That's what the commission that accredits law enforcement agencies tell Beaver Creek's police chief about the existing police headquarters building. We have offsite storage for property and evidence and records. So, and we have offsite storage for items that we need for community engagement events like Safety Town. We have offsite storage for our, um, some of our SWAT maintenance or SWAT vehicles. We would have to come here, get some gear, take somebody to get the personnel carrier, then go to wherever the situation is. Location and response time has become a growing issue for the Beaver Creek Department. The police levy would help accommodate a more quick and easy access to nearby interstates and highways. And for officers, every second is critical. And as you notice coming in, there's one road in and one way out. There's only one way in and out by the roadway, which could create a problem for us in response times. It does create a problem sometimes in the winter when the, the roads get pretty bad, icy and snowy. We have to wait, which is usually not very long for the road department to come uh, to get us you know, out of our parking lot even sometimes. Now, if approved, the levy would also be used to hire five additional police officers. The owner of the $100,000 home would pay an additional $87.50 per year in property taxes. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Nija Petty Home, 2 News, working for you.